Wow! We get to watch a Marvel show! Okay. Marn Marnvel. Oh, yeah. New show! <laughs> Finally. Content. Hey, everybody. I'm Sam. And I'm Adam. I'm Will, and we are... Working Tired! Guys, we are back with a new show! Really? What show is it? WandaVision! WandaVision! <laughs> Guys, it's been so long. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Marvel's not dead. <laughs> what, what year did Endgame come out? 2018? 2019. 2019? So it's been two years. I know. <laughs> it feels like it's been forever. It's like a society. year and a half, not really two years. Microwave yeah. society, it's all good. We, uh, we've never reacted to Marvel, really. Teaser trailers, but never. never actual content from Marvel. Guys, how do you feel about Marvel? Love it. I'm so excited to Iron be back into Marvel stuff. Yeah. Iron Man's my favorite superhero of all time. I was listening to music in the car today, listening to all the Marvel jams, and realized how much I love the MCU and how much I've missed it. Uh, before we get started, like, what are your like top three favorite films through all three phases? Ooh, that's so yeah. tough. I know. Shit. <laughs> yeah. That's such a hard question. It is. Because there's so many good ones. Alright. Um, for me, my three favorite, No Specific Order, um, Infinity War, Winter Soldier, and Guardians. Mm. Guardians, really? Yeah. That's, I will, a that's a great movie. I will also say Guardians 1. Yeah, yeah, Guardians 1. I had a hard debate the other day between Winter Soldier, but I chose Civil War. War over it. And then third... Is like an up in the air against Infinity War and Endgame. I think I'm gonna go with Endgame. So that will be my three: Civil War, Endgame, and Guardians One. Iron Man. Man, I really like the Incredible Hulk, so I'm gonna say that okay. with Edward Norton. That movie is so damn good. Unpopular opinion, but we enjoy that here. I That's did. True. I did. That movie is very, very good. We thrive off unpopular opinions. Uh, yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, we do. Uh, Controversy sells. <laughs> I Civil won. War. Yeah. Civil War. I was going to say, I can't hate you either way because I'm pretty up in the air about those yeah. two. But, I, I would say Civil War is like four or like three B to me. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah. it's there, but it's. it's Endgame is there. Um... But that's like the thing about Marvel. Like these are our top three, but those things can technically change over time. Yeah. And like Marvel in general has enough good films that like I enjoy the mass of all of it in general. Right. There's very few that I'm like, eh, didn't need that. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> this is the video I was gonna say though. The Dark World. <laughs> I was gonna say oh, three. God. Anyway, yeah, we're 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 going off oh, the rails. Tangent. So we could go down to the wormhole of Marvel, but tonight we have WandaVision. What are your guys' thoughts on um Wanda, Maximoff, and Vision themselves? Wanda's a really powerful character. Really yeah. I think people don't consider how powerful she is. At least in the comics, she's extremely powerful. And this she's pretty she's the only she person that like won took on Thanos pretty yeah. darn yeah, well she, on her own. Yeah, she won V one Thanos and like held her own while every other hero in this universe completely yeah. failed at that. And to be fair, it was enough for Thanos to literally call out missiles on their own people as a last-ditch effort to make sure he didn't lose right there. Yeah. Where he was able to take on, like, seven Avengers in Infinity War. Yeah. So, so she's super powerful. Um, I've always liked Vision in the comics and, like, cartoons and stuff like that. I don't really know, like, what he's offered to the movies or any... Like, at least what we've seen so far. So I'm excited that hopefully we get some more, like, good Vision uh, yeah. content in this. I liked Vision as Jarvis. <laughs> Yeah, I like the actor a lot. I like yeah. Paul. Oh, yeah. Bet I think it's Bettany or Bettany. Paul Bettany. I, I I loved him ever since A Knight's Tale, um, and I I enjoyed him in the movies as yeah as Jarvis as well. I think he's just been more of a plot piece than a, yeah. a character with development. So I, I really do hope they kind of delve into their relationship and like maybe fill us in and stuff we didn't know beforehand because we've kind of had them as side characters in the Avengers. So guys, hey, we're gonna jump into this, but if you like Marvel content, make sure you leave the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you're the first ones to see these things when they drop. We're gonna be doing these every week when they come out, and we're gonna be doing all the Marvel shows when they come out. So if you enjoy all of that, make sure you're here for it. This is not a market substitute. Make sure you go on Disney Plus and watch WandaVision, and then come back right here on YouTube. We're gonna punch it. Bah! Yes! I was wondering if they're gonna do this. 
It's Rip. actually my favorite part of like the, the when they start adding this. You love all the intros. Too. Hey, bro, if it's <laughs> edited well, I like it. <laughs> so we're like already in this world. <laughs> what? What would you call Vision? An android? Yeah. I guess. An, an AI turned android, I think, is what they were making him. Oh god, that actually scared me. Uh, oh. What? What do you Sick. say to silver dollar pancakes, crispy hash browns, bacon, eggs, freshly squeezed orange juice, and black coffee? I yes, say yes. I don't need food. <laughs> well, that explains the empty refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they're on calendar. Someone's drawn a little hard. Well, don't tell me you have forgotten this. Forgotten? I'm incapable of exaggeration. Well, then tell me what's so important about today's date. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question again? Spoken like a true man. <laughs> Have ever celebrated this occasion before? It's a special day. Perhaps an evening. What's <laughs> it that does? To a spot. Naturally. Obviously. Exactly. <laughs> All on us. Don't forget. Is it their anniversary? I don't say Valentine's. I don't know. Oh. Oh, that was really cool. <laughs> She's like, idiot, you haven't changed your face. This is already so bizarre, and mm. I knew this was gonna be what it was. Yeah. But it's just so weird. Oh. Hello, dear. I'm Agnes, your neighbor to the right. My mother-in-law was in town, so I wasn't. <laughs> so, what's your name? Where are you from? Well, please, come in. <laughs> oh, nosy neighbors. I'm Wanda. I sure did. Those boxes don't move themselves. <laughs> so what's a single gal like you? An anniversary then? Yes! <laughs> anniversary. I love how they're just as confused as I am yeah. currently. <laughs> how to treat your husband to keep your husband. And let me tell you, what Ralph could really use is how to goose your wife so you don't lose your wife. <laughs> Hang on! <laughs> Funny. Sex. <laughs> oh God. Is there something I can help you with, buddy? Yes. As a matter of fact, there is. Would you be so good as to tell me what it is we do here? Exactly? <laughs> <laughs> do we? What's got your feathers Gosh, how on? How high his pants are. Yes, I love it. Yeah. You see. What about seduction techniques? <laughs> well, I have those. Of course you do. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, what does it say? <laughs> that you should stumble when you walk into- Nervous, whatever for. Well, you know, darling, I still get a little tongue-tied. <laughs> hey, it is. Oh, boy. After all this time- I think the best course of action is to impress the wife. And I think the best course of action is to impress the husband. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to know we're both Sick. on the same page. Until tonight, then, I've done it. Until tonight. Ah, oh, shit's gonna go left. Alright, does she walk out in lingerie and then like... <laughs> he walks in with his boss. You burnt the toast! What? Infomercials. Toastmate 2000. Taste back into your toast. You hear that Iron Man sound? <laughs> Stark in the to yeah. pie, to open cheese sandwiches. Oh, cheese. Is it a bomb? I don't like this. Okay. The all new <laughs> that got a little nervous there. <laughs> Forget the this is your it's a Stark on it. Yeah, you're right. Really? Yeah, yeah I'm low. Right. Right. I was gonna ask, do you think there'll be like any crossovers? If it's Easter like... eggs? I've been looking for Easter eggs. Oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah, they're gonna, she's gonna walk out in like lingerie or something. Oh, <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> oh gosh! 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 What's the meaning of this? Traditional Sokovian greeting of hospitality. Good save. Uh, guess. <laughs> See, I forgot to tell you, my wife is from Europe. <laughs> <laughs> We don't break bread with bullshit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have you no culture at all? <laughs> and that dress. 
Yes, it's 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 so so Covian is what it is. <laughs> so so Covian. Kitchen for a moment. Bolshevik. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You move at the speed of sound, and I can make a pencil through the air. Who needs to abbreviate? <laughs> Any chance they'd settle for a single chocolate-covered strawberries for three ways? <laughs> I might have a better idea. Yeah. Nice. Is that a power she had? Just like the ability to create something from nothing? No. She can bend reality, though, right? Yeah, we can bend matter. That sh she can bend matter. It's just a higher strength right there. I mean, I don't think we're in the real world, so she can probably do it. We're either sure. in his head or her head. I think it's the Mind Stone. Oh, Agnes, you're a lifesaver. Oh, what kind of housewife would I be if I didn't have a gourmet meal before just lying about the place? Blue <laughs> Ribbon? Blue Apron. Blue Apron. Blue Apron. Oh, shit. Dang it! Well, thank you, Agnes. I think I've got it covered from you. Oh, are you sure, dear? <laughs> many hands make light work, and many mouths make good gossip. You're so naughty! <laughs> oh, shall I just say hippie up with that? Get the heck out of here. Do you set your own jellies, dear? Yes. Good girl. Recipe card. Set your own jellies? Bon appetit. I don't Good know. Jacuter. She should just be a cutery. Jacutery. Jacutery. Something like that. A domestic emergency. Mrs. Please don't be cocky. Take out the papers and the trash. Did yeah. <laughs> Don't talk back. <laughs> He's like, kill me now. She calls you Diane? Yes, it's a pet name for me. Just coming, Fred. <laughs> Fred. Yeah. the lobster out the window. You know, I had high hopes for you, but from what I've seen here tonight, you can Ooh. barely keep it together. I mean, breakfast. Around. Breakfast for dinner. How oh, very, uh... European. <laughs> <laughs> so, where did you two move from? What brought you here? How long have you been married? And why don't you have children yet? <laughs> oh, boy. I think what my... Wife means to say is that we we we, we moved from mum. Yes, we moved from. And we were married. Yes, yes, we were married. In... Well, we're just gonna hit them with the thing. Where? This isn't real. Yeah, like, that's what I'm no, so confused about. It's what exactly is your story? Oh, just leave the poor kids alone. This is funny. Punches the table. Why did you come here? Why? 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 <laughs> Damn it, why? Oh. Oh, is he gonna die? Oh! Oh, AI hey, malfunction. Stop it! Oh, I don't like this. Stop it! Stop it! I don't like this. Stop it! What is Stop it! It's turned from a sitcom to a real Stop show. It. Promotion, he was just hired. It's like it's like Deja, it's uh, like if it's a video game quest Deja, messed up. What's the black and white TV show? What a charming 
like Twilight Zone. Right. Thank you, Twilight Zone. No, but it's like if a video game malfunctioned and you just got like the eight the lobsters on the tour. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a corrupt file. But they passed with flying colors. Mm. I do. I hate the mm. audio track. Yeah. And then they jump to a new time era. I was gonna ask, I wonder if it'll happen in this episode. Is this the first episode? <laughs> yes. Really? Uh, wow. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, no. right. Yeah. It's a truck. Sword? Oh, yeah, the other company from S.H.I.E.L.D. Bro, what, what the f Oh, this I game? think it's just a, like a teaser. Oh. Well, it's to come. Dang it! Oh. Dude, what is going on? It's really cool, though. Or it's like, um... It's like something out of Doctor Strange. Yeah, a mix of that with... Remember that scene where, like, Ultron kills Jarvis inside the internet, whatever? Yeah. yeah like, wipes yeah, him yeah. out. Kind of reminds me of that. Wow. Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty, that was the first episode of WandaVision, y'all, yeah. by Marvel Studios. I enjoyed it. I yeah. thought I thought it was very humorous. I liked it. I mean, it's... I, I hate that kind of TV, <laughs> but I like it in the context of what we have. It almost felt like, like you said, like a corrupted file in a video game. Yeah. Or like... A glitch in the Matrix. True, a glitch in the Matrix. It just felt like when he was Jarvis, he knew everything, right? Because he was on the internet. Or because he was in the internet, he knew all the knowledge of everything. It's almost like if we're in his mind, because I kind of feel like that... that I feel like the way this is going to go, it's going to be in his mind and Wanda is trying to go and, like, is sent in by sword, shield, whatever, to be trying to, for whatever reason, do something for them. Maybe bring him back, maybe extract information, whatever. But... His mind is recreating, like, worlds that they can live in, but it doesn't have any actual information because it's just based off of, like, what he knows on the internet. Yeah. So it's like, like, his mind is, like, sitcom show. So it's like, we're in a sitcom show. And he, like, because he asked that guy, he said, well, what do we do here? He's like, I don't really know. Like what? It's almost like when you go up to, like, um, like an NPC in a video game and you ask them a question that's not, like... Like, if you tried to ask them a question that's not a part of their script, yeah. they wouldn't, it, they don't exactly. respond in any type of way. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like he's in, like, an unfinished video game or, like, a world that's created only in his head with the knowledge that he has of, yeah. like, because, you know, why are we, get, why are we here? Where did we come from? Yeah. When did we get married? Like, these are normal questions that he should know, but yeah. because none of it's actually real, he doesn't know. He just knows that they live in this place and he works at this job with a boss named Mr. Hart, you know? Did you like the episode though? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it was cool. I mean, I like. I really don't like this kind of. I don't like sitcoms and this kind of TV. I'm more just interested to see like where it's going to take. What it us. develops into. Yeah, I mean, it had funny moments. It was interesting, just like seeing their playfulness and all that. But like, I just don't. Sitcoms are not my thing. So like, yeah. I'm sure this will hit for a certain audience and demographic, but it's not me. So I'm just kind of like, eh, let's just get to the let's just get to the like the nitty gritty of the show or what this is yeah. about. And yeah, it, it, it is definitely like the video game you're talking about. I was thinking like Skyrim, you like go talk, or like Elder Scroll games, you go and talk to somebody. Yeah. And like back when they developed old AI games, like if you mention, like if you do anything outside the realm of what the AI was intended to do, it'll like mess up the AI and they'll go and start doing their own thing that they weren't intended to. Yeah. Or it'll like jump ahead. So like the guy almost died. Like it's, it's like a. An AI scripted to not die, and then something happens that is meant for other AIs to die, and because it ends up in his path, it, like, gets all faulty, and then once you fix the mistake, you technically fixed it, but now you get the A-plus on the mission, even though you did a C-plus job. Like, they didn't do the dinner right, and now he's saying, you're gonna get promoted! Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, it's like they jumped two steps ahead yeah. Yeah. Uh, in a game, so... It definitely is like a glitch in the system because he's out there dying. His wife's like, "Stop it! Stop yeah, it. stop it!" I was gonna Come say, "Come on, that. stop it!" Yeah, 
Stop it. She just kept saying it like she was like a broken record. Mm-hmm. It just wouldn't stop. Yeah. It'd be funny if it's like her script is still fine. His script is like two chapters ahead. So whenever they talk, the conversation just doesn't, it doesn't match up anymore. They'll be yeah. like, good morning. Let's go for a hunt. It's yeah. like <laughs> two completely different like talking points now because they're just one AI is messed up or something. If it is an AI. Yeah. Like we don't even know if it's like a computer based thing. We, that's But that's if it's like. So so going into that, what do you guys think it is? Uh, I think we're in the Mind Stone. The Mind Stone. Yeah. Now let's let's dissect that a bit. How would you think that works? Mind Stone being more of a cosmic thing as opposed to a cybernetic thing. Mm, that's a good point. Well, and the other thing though is like, I would assume that we're in the real reality, right? Yeah, that's a fair assumption. <clears throat> well, what do you mean by that? I, I love and I hate that we're in this like this is such nerd shit to yeah, go into yeah. that the average viewer is not going to care about it's fine no no I'm saying I love it I, but yeah. it's just funny to think about that like oh what you do? I'm talking about the reality in which all these characters existed and we saw in the movies that the stones were destroyed grabbed from a different reality and then brought to the universe and then they were put back when you say real reality, you're talking about specifically the end of the episode with the computers, people watching. The oh, computers. I'm saying that the, uh, what is going on right here is not is not real. Like okay. it's this is happening. I would say in in Vision's mind or uh, Wanda's mind because it, within the context of the real within reality. context of the real reality because gotcha. the Mind Stone is nowhere to be found now because gotcha. now right. it's back where it should be sure. and yeah. Vision, it, Vision's body is left behind, so I don't know what, like, I mean, he's a robot. There has to be a way that they could, like, somewhat put him back together. Is this the the timeline that the stones were put back, or is this after? I would imagine. Like, like Captain's old and all that. I would imagine that this is after. Yeah, this after. is back. Where did they even get the Mind Stone when they went back in time? They got all. He grabbed the scepter, right? Mind stone. Which, well, see, I, which, I get some mixed with the colors. Mine, with Mine's yellow. yellow. It's the one that's in the scepter. The one that Loki uses and he puts right. on Hawkeye's chest. But did he go back? Wait, I thought the, that was the Tesseract. No, the Tesseract, no, tesseract is, is its like own thing. Cube. It's its own thing. Okay. Yeah. That's the yeah, space. That's what was, oh, that actually That's makes what sense. was so confusing is that they, the show, the movies made them like objects that broke off into different colored ones. Yeah. So like... The Loki staff had a blue gem, right? And then broke into the blue, a yellow crystal. Then there's the blue tesseract, which broke into the blue yeah. crystal, pretty much. They, yeah. He crushed it in his yeah. hand and it became blue. One. That's why it was so. That's Thanos, right? Followed. Yeah, Thanos yeah. crushed it. And then the red liquid became the red one. Like it's, yeah. it's so hard. Uh, the ether. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. but so reality. But so the Mind Stone. Did Tony grab that when he went? Like when he went back to New York and Cap Loki disappeared. Cap grabbed it and fought the but other cap for it. In New York. Though. In New York. Okay, so that's where they got it from. Yes. So it went back there. Yeah. So I would imagine that that's not when... I am I would say this has to be happening in the real present day of what we've seen in the movies yeah. after after the snap. That's the best way to put it. After the snap. Yeah, and I do agree that this is like... This isn't another timeline. This isn't like... This isn't, this, isn't Loki. X, this isn't the X-Men universe that might cross over. This isn't the Maguire. This isn't even the Loki one that is now created that's the Loki show. Yeah. This is the one that's strictly from our MCU films. We're just seeing somebody, like a deeper, like a, almost like looking at a computer program in that world. Like, it's just something in more in depth within that world. It's not a separate world completely di- disassociated. I'm still confused on what time period you think this is. So... I'm saying this post is end game. This, this is post endgame. Post endgame. In endgame universe. Gems are back. But he mentioned Cap fighting Cap. No, no, no because that So that's... that back in time? <clears throat> no, no, no. God damn it. I'm back saying, in time? I'm saying that did that, that because that happened and then Cap after Endgame. So Captain back. America's old now. Yes. Yes. Okay. No no but I'm saying Cap after Endgame, after they beat Thanos, he, fixed, right, he put all, he the, put stones all the stones back, back and right. fixed those timelines of some. But that stone never had vision, so it didn't. This yes. that then that's what Correct. I'm saying. It right. can't be the Mind Stone. So since he put it back, we have to be in present day. Cap is old, probably dead. Cap's memory you system just blew or something. my fucking mind. Yeah, I didn't sorry. think that vision wouldn't exist now. Well, yeah, 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 no. If you, if you went into that different reality, like vision is not a thing. Because I'm thinking. Uh, it's Wanda and Black Panther's sister. 
uh, are Shuri. performing on the Yellowstone. Well, the Shuri, yeah, Shuri was trying to make it so Jarvis slash Vision could be independent from the stone yeah. and still live. And technically, like, you can still do that. He would just be more robotic, robotic. than Android. He'd be less sophisticated. Like, Jarvis always existed prior to the becoming. You know. He just didn't have, like, a personality. Yeah. Or, like, uh, or like um, his right own right. mind. I mean, he was, he was just a robot that took orders. Hey, do it's this. The, and that's the, that's the thing that was always confusing in old, the Age of Ultron didn't really describe what was extra special about Vision, Vision really, Vision. as opposed to Jarvis, other than the thing that he could phase through stuff, and that he was like an upgraded super... It was it just felt like an upgrade. Yeah, And like, you could I, pick up Thor's hammer. So, like, I, I don't really know... <laughs> Front about that. Yeah, like I, I don't know how much this really has to do with the stone in general, you know, because like yeah. we saw the stone in the trailer, like you see the yellow mm -hmm. thing. But that could just be the fact that like their old memories might be coming flooding back at some yeah. point, just like how the Stark thing kind of seeped into this yeah. reality. Yeah. So I want to talk more about the the uh, the end of it with the sword. Uh, yeah. People, I'm not familiar with the sword, but I don't neither know, am I. Known that there but I'm just wondering, like, how is he watching that? That's what I'm trying to figure out. The dude who was watching the TV when the when the camera panned out, and he, that's it looked like somebody was watching a TV. What? Well, like that's what I'm so confused about. Like, it, it, what is going on? This episode gave me very uh, almost Truman Show vibes when the AIs or whatever they are, the you know the couple left as if they knew something was up, like they messed up in their program and they had to get out of there. It almost felt like when the actors in the Truman Show would mess up and reveal mm -hmm. something about. Jim Carrey being on a show and they're yeah. like, oh, nothing, 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 we gotta go. Yeah. Uh, and, or like Jim Carrey sees the camera in somebody's hand, what is that? And they're like, nothing! Yeah. You know, like, you know, just trying to hide that kind of like... I mean, it could be something like, I mean, I keep, sorry, I keep saying this because this is just like my theory, my thought process. If they have Vision's body and they're trying to like dig through like the data files and he, Vision just because of what he is just kind of put everything in this format and so they just like usb tv or usb machine H it. hdmi Vision's head back to vision. tv let me watch what's going on in but there. dude like would not vision be property of shield so would wanda like why would he's, wanda he's let stark sword tech. he's stark tech which I'm, I'm, dude we're gonna get, i feel like somebody's gonna be like actually i thought sword well, and sh shield and sword are like the pokemon games thing Wait, what? That took me out of it. So bad. So, I think right. like sword and shield are like, like, what? Not one in the same. I thought shield turns into sword, or that shield and sword are related, like two separate agencies working together. I really, I, this is, I don't I'm, know. Yeah, this I, is my first time hearing the sword. I, I all I thought, I, I thought that at the end of Captain Marvel when we saw the scroll, or whatever, up in space, I thought that was like. Nick Fury now working in space with Sword. Like I always thought Sword was some space program. So I, I'm obviously not on the ball. Somebody yeah. somebody fill us in on what Sword means without yeah. spoiling. Yeah. Without spoiling. With giving us some context going forward. Because I don't really want to dive into comics and like potentially sp spoil Yeah, stuff. I was like, we could Google it, but that might just ruin it for us. Yeah, because it, it might be fun getting to know a Sword through a different lens. Like our, for our first time enjoyment. Yeah. But uh, you mentioned, Will, at the start of this that this could be <laughs> Wanda going in to, like, retrieve something. Well, okay, I that was my thought before we watched the show, like, trailer, because we had talked about that in our WandaVision trailer reaction. Um, but the fact that she... Yeah, I know, go check it out. Link right <laughs> here somewhere. Now it's obsolete, but go check it out if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, it, because of the way she acted in this, she's clearly a part of this, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's weird. So I don't really know... If I'm, I was just going off the trailer, like okay. what we had seen in the trailer, but it doesn't really that theory doesn't make sense with her being almost in the same boat as Vision and not really knowing what's going on, unless yeah. they're both like comatose and like. Well, the only reason you know. I brought re, brought it back up again was because I remembered from the trailer while watching this that we do get to see like military stuff happening, mm -hmm. yeah, and we get to see a giant bubble thing, and it made yeah. me think because I was thinking of Truman Show, I was also thinking of like Inception, like. Like, well, how they have to yeah. go deeper, they'll have to let things play out until maybe Vision gets to a point where he can reveal information just like the guy in Inception, they had to get deep enough into his mind where he doesn't know what's happening and he can reveal some 
very specific thing that gives them the information to like save him or something. Yeah. Well, that's kind of that's actually a great point because in in Inception, like you get to a point you can kind of lose yourself and not mm-hmm. forget that this is a dream. Yeah. So it could be something like that because I feel like in the trailer there's a part where they're like. Calling the vision. Wanda. Wanda. Come in. Wanda. Yeah. Like, so, like, they're trying to talk to her. That's probably the biggest reason, to to think that. Yeah. But and the only thing against that is, like, why, if, if that is the case, and this is the first level of the dream sequence or something like that, why is it that she's already... Completely out of the loop. Like, she's already doesn't know anything. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. We're in the Shonies. These two aren't going to get that, but hopefully some Rick and Morty fans are going to get that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm, my mind is so confused right now. I'm ready for episode two. Yeah, me Poggers, too. let's do right. it, guys. Skinlings. Hey, I got this one, you little bastard. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate all the love and support. As always, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, share this with a friend, hit the notification bell. Tune in next time for our WandaVision episode two reaction, baby. We're going to punch it. Bow!